of my 29 gallon, which I haven't done an update for a long time, because I was um I was planning on doing a big rescape with this tank, and so what I did is I got rid of like a lot of plants, sold them off, and with that money I bought new plants and did like a total rescape of the tank. I really like it now. I also um, I had rocks in this tank, but it's just the amount of big plants that I had. They just covered up the rocks. So what I did is um, I'm gonna try to keep things short, and I'm gonna uh, um, you know I brought the rocks near the front now, so that uh, they people can actually see them. I can actually see them. So it's um, new a bunch of new plants too with the money that I got. So let's give you a rundown of what plants I got. Alright, so over there is some uh, Rotala Colorado that I got from a local fish store. Hold on. And yeah, this has to be a really favorite plant of mine. It just looks so beautiful. And yeah, I just love how it's growing. I mean, the bottom is dying off just a bit, but the top is just going crazy. And um. I don't, uh, yeah, there's a uh, Sunset Hygo back there. Received that from a local. And over here, this was the, the, the big year that I already had um, before. Moved it all toge together. And that sword was also... I had three swords in this tank, got rid of two, and I just kept a smaller one. You know, just to fill up that gap. And then for ground cover, I have... Um, uh, SP Japan all over the bottom uh, I don't know I got these in yesterday and they're not looking that good it could have been from the weather um, you could tell that the greenness like this this portion right here I received from a local and all of this other portion this and um, all of this that got uprooted over here um, I got from a youtuber Delivage, so I'm guessing it was from a cold weather. I picked these up local, so that's why there's nothing wrong with them. But these came shipped in, so they're looking a little bit bad right now. Hopefully, they you know get their color back or some or start growing new ones over there. There's some over there, and yeah, this this is totally mess. It's over here is okay, but uh, I don't know. So um. Crypto's one before over here. I got some Blixa. This is going really well. I love the way it looks. Um, this was also from a local, same local that gave me those. Uh, his name is Monster Fish. He lives in my area, and um, yeah, really cheap plants. And uh, you can find them on Planted Tank. So over here I have some uh, Glosso growing. I mean, this plant looks amazing too. I just want the Glosso to just grow in this area only, while the rest will be just SP Japan. I just want like a triangle kind of thing growing on here. And yeah, it looks really good. So far so good with this little carpet going on. And over here, yeah, this Lotus was mine. I'm just going to keep this really short. I mean, this used to be a monster plant. And so I'm just going to keep it short now. There's a banana next to it. This Kabamba was all mine. It's looking good. And yes, and there's a piece of java plant back there. I don't know what to do with it. I think I'm going to put it in the bowl, but it's not going to fit, so I'll see what I can do with it. And then over here is a mess of uh, red Ludwigia. Again, I got it. I bought it off of someone on Aquavid and. They're not looking that good. First of all, they came all bent and stuff. Like, if you're going to give me plants that are going to be big, at least trim them or put them in a bigger box. I'll pay shipping. But, I, I mean, since they put it in a small small flat rate box, it came out all bent and stuff. And, again, I'm guessing due to the cold weather, um, so many, I mean, damn, so many leaves fell out. It's not even funny. They just literally you touch you touch the leaves and they just fall off. So that's not that's not gonna be good. It's not even straightening out. I'm not liking it. I think that one over there is growing. I'm guessing the little green one over there. But 
I don't even know what's going on with this mess over here I have. I gave that guy neutral feedback. I mean, yeah, I got a bang for the buck, but... I mean, class did not come out that good. And I, I didn't like that. So, yeah, um... Uh, check out my new, uh, Blue Guppy. I just, I saw this at the pet store, and I was like... It, he was by himself, too. And I'm like, oh, no, no, no. Let me, let me, let me take this guy home. So, he's, he's beautiful. I mean, he's really stands out from the tank. Oops, sorry, lost focus there. He really stands out from the tank. I also have this, uh, Sunset Grammy. Someone was giving it away free, so I just took it. But, and it's really not, I mean, this guy, where do you go? He is really cool, because whenever I'm in the tank, you know, cleaning stuff around, every other fish would start running around and going all crazy and stuff. But he would actually come up to my hand and start, you know, since I have hair on my arm, he uh, starts picking on that. It's really nice. And, I mean, you can cuddle with him, like, seriously. It's cool. And um, with the Sunset Gourami, I got a uh, true Siamese algae eater right there. He, let me tell you something, I had an algae problem. And because of this one guy and my, I could say my autos helped too. I don't know where they are right now. Um, I could say the autos too helped. There they are, back there. Um, but he cleared, he cleared the algae out fast. I gotta tell you, he cleared the algae out really fast in my tank. Did a really good job. So yeah, this video is becoming too long right now, so... Thanks for watching guys and this camera will not focus. Thanks for watching and yeah, let me know what how this looks. Other than that big ugly little video piece going up in the middle. Hopefully it straightens out in something. Peace.